hey maybe it will run better if it wasn't warmed up really good it didn't want to idle with the choke off never had the time to adjust it and I suspect well I did try adjusting the carburetor but I don't know much about carburetors but uh, I do think I need to change the jets because what it does is I think uh, at about 4,000 rpms it uh, kind of sputters cuts out like it's lacking fuel but I can't really push it because you know the engine still needs braking in what's the torque on these I have no idea should probably torque it huh maybe to 10 10 maybe too much about seven it's already at seven so eight check this out yes I did wipe the hood with some Kleenex or uh, Windex I must say it looks good ignore this big ass gap some adjustments are necessary still there's a gap here too I mean this is what it should look like so I guess this I don't know maybe the fenders need to go back but it's pretty close maybe doors I have no idea so that's a acceptable gap here so yeah there was a non-functional hood scoop which I don't like looking better already you know imagine this with bigger wheels and the front fender which I do have but it looks like a like a bumper car basically it sticks out to about right over here and there's I'm missing the the bottom whatever thing you want to call that I only have the the bumper the bumper bumper but imagine something just going straight down from the headlight basically here straight down maybe a little bit even maybe going in or maybe going in here even with this line and then going out slightly a bit lower than the rockers maybe right about to here that would look that would look good in my opinion and then in the rear same thing I never had the bumper in the rear but it's still it sticks out like to about here so my plan is to cut this out weld a some kind of a pipe or a beam you know some kind of a crash bar uh, from here to the other one to the other side and then here just do just a straight shot kind of maybe curved slightly curved from here to here and that's it yeah I mean just you know a cover bumper cover like this and then straight across obviously leave a little bit of room for the plate like kind of an indentation here a bit of the fuel tank would show maybe come down a little lower something that's gonna get done later maybe we'll see so now I'm thinking I'm gonna install the weather stripping on this side. I've done the driver's side a while ago. These are expensive by the way, I forget what, what it is, but they do fit nicely. These go... Yeah, I do have to finish. There's one that goes here around the door and attaches here just a round trip. Then this one, as you can see, it attaches here, goes down here, and attaches here. These I reused. These were painted. I mean, it took me days to clean this rubber up. Just this whole, these both of these triangular windows, adjust them. I do have a bit of a gap in here. Just probably some silicone in there or some kind of an automotive sealant inside and outside seal it up there's actually adjustment uh, of the grill on these brackets but this bracket was welded on and this was not so this is this one is actually held on by two bolts 
so I bet you if I loosen those up this will move back and forth now this is something I already probably knew I just forgot you know it's been maybe I don't know a year and a half or so uh, when I put this on so yeah that's adjustable all right so this is what I got this is very dirty but that's what I have as far as trim pieces on the inside both mirrors and a bunch of extra handles wipers I got a mount back they just kind of press in no no bolts no nuts nothing found all the the three yeah th no four pieces four trim pieces for the around the windshield check this out actually let's close the door What do you think? I think it would look pretty good. I do have the trim around the rear window as well. There's only two pieces, one big one, one short one on the bottom. Install the lock. Very simple actually. And I'm sure I'm missing quite a bit. Working on the parking brake rear assembly and I've been shopping around looking and I just can't find it basically what I need to do is I need to connect the parking brake line there's only one going to each wheel one line connects both wheels goes to the front or the rear of the uh, kind of a transmission just above the drive shaft it's kind of a tight fit with the drive shaft in it, but I'm going to try and manage. So anyways, this cable goes around and back to the other wheel and right in front of it, there is that uh, bolt adjustable stud or bolt that goes inside through the actual handbrake handle at the, at the rear of it. And there's something in between that needs to connect the two, the cable and that adjuster thing with a little hook at the end of it. So this is what I did. Cut out a few pieces of metal, bend this one. This is going to be upside down. So this bottom bigger part is going to be that on the top. I'm going to drill a hole right here somewhere on top. This is going to get welded on the inside here. And this is going to get welded on top also on the inside so imagine this being flipped around the cable will basically travel through here and that bolt adjustable bolt will grab it here that will hold it hopefully
nice final well it still needs paint but final product it's gonna go basically like this and that's it and that line's gonna go the cable it's gonna go right through here back this way so as I pull on the cable it's gonna go forward that's pretty much it I know how it looks I didn't measure a single thing this is all eyeballing all right I don't got time for that but this will do as long as it holds and doesn't rust that's all I care about so let's test fit this So I still got plenty of adjustment here, but I probably what I need to do is adjust it at the wheels. So right now handbrake engaged. And we are good. After removing the wheel, remove the drum. These were brand new by the way. Well couple years ago and you're presented with the rear brakes the parking brakes and the actual main brakes are the same thing on these old cars what you need to do you need to unscrew the adjuster screw from its base basically so in this case it's got to come down looking by the thread pretty much a few turns out try the drum didn't fit went too far so now I gotta lift this locking tab and go up Getting a little drag, which is what I want. That's it. 